In this video, we're going to be drawing this prism. Basic square-based prism. And we are going to start with the top view, which I've already drawn over there. And we're going to then go and complete its front view over here. And we're going to complete its left view over here. We're drawing in first angle orthographic projection. And the first thing we have to do whenever we're drawing a in solid geometry, which this section is called, okay, and we're going to go and complete this prism, we have to go and number it first. So the one thing we have to note here is that this top view over here, which is of this prism, every single one of these corners here doesn't represent only one corner, but two. You can clearly see it over here. If you have a look at the top view of this prism, you can see this corner over here. But if we tilt this, you can see that there's another corner down here, which is directly in line with this corner here, which we see in the top view. So in our top view, if we are looking and numbering this corner here, there is another corner which is directly below it, which is that corner over there. So when we go and we number our top view over here, we are going to number each of the top corners first with just the numbers 1 to 4. And that, of course, will represent each of these four top corners over here. Okay, if we tilt that the same way that my top view is tilted. Okay, so those are those four corners. But we know now from looking at this shape that there are another four corners over there which are directly below the four top corners. So there's a corner over here. Okay, if you have a look at what I've done here, there's number two. So that would be corner number two over here. But directly below it is another corner over here, which we also have to label. So in my top view here, I am going to put a comma over there next to the one. And I'm going to label the corner below number 1 as number 5, the corner below number 2 as 6, the corner below number 3 as 7, and the corner below number 4 as 8. That then covers all four of my top corners, as well as the other four corners which are directly below those. Now, we're going to take that top view, and we're going to project each of those corners into the front view to be able to then go and draw what the front view of that shape would look like there. We're going to take the 3D shape out for now, okay? because we now need to learn to work with each of our corners as well as the numbering that we put in. So we're going to start by drawing construction lines which project each of our corners in our top view up into our front view and you'll see that these two corners are directly in line with each other so they go along one line okay so now we've projected each of those three lines up which represent all of our corners we're going to put in a 10 millimeter gap over here which we always want between our x y lines and our next view okay and then draw another construction line now we need to know the height of this shape before we can carry on okay so you'd have to go and you'd be have to be given this height from that corner here to this corner up here okay and the height that i've got here is 70 millimeters so i'm going to go and of course, in our front view, we're going to see that height. So I'm going to go and measure that height on the side over here. Okay, so I'm going to go and measure 70 millimeters on the side here. And I'm going to mark that off. Okay, and then draw in another construction line 70 millimeters up over there. Okay, so now there we have. The, a rectangle which is formed by projecting all of that up and of course if you look from our top view to our front view of the shape our front view is a rectangle and the front view will have two dark lines on the sides over here as well as a dark line down the middle for this corner here and then of course 
you can see that in our top view here that the top forms a dark line, a straight dark line at the top and then another straight dark line at the bottom. So we can happily here go and draw in a straight dark line on the bottom and then another one on the top and then we can also go and draw in each of the dark lines which then represent these corners okay which form an edge of our prism so there's the one edge of our prism there's another edge of the prism and then the last edge of the prism that we can see in the front view now the other thing we need to do is we need to go and take each of these numbers now and we need to move them from here to here we need to go and number this view so to number that view we're going to have to bring back our 3d shape okay to remind us of where our numbers are and we're going to have a look here now if this is our top view our shape has been taken and we flipped it over that XY line to be able to draw our front view. So, if we have a look here, we know that this corner over here at the top was corner 4, according to our label there. So when it's flipped up like this, corner 4 is now over here. Okay, and that means that that point over there is going to be our corner 4. So we can label it as 4. Okay, then on this side on the left over here, our top corner was corner 1. That was this corner here. And if we flip that up and over, we can see that corner 1 will then move to there. And the same thing happens with corner 3. Corner 3 will also move to there. If you look at it here, that there would be corner 3. And as we move up and over, there goes corner 3. Corner 3 is now up here. That, of course, will then tell us that corner 7 will be down the bottom here, because that was our bottom corner. And then corner number 5 would be over there. Okay, and then our corner 8 was the bottom corner here, so that must be directly below corner 4, so there would be an 8 here. But now, we've got two points which are missing, which is corner 2 and 6. What happened to them? Well, if we have a look at our shape again, you can see there that... That corner over there is the one we're talking about. And corner 2 is the one at the top and 6 we know is the one at the bottom. So 2 over here, as we take our shape and we flip it over our XY line, watch what happens to 2 over there. 2 goes here and 2 goes there, right to the back. Okay, If we bring our shape here, we can see that that was corner 4. Corner 2 is now sitting over here, which if we flip that down for the front view, that is now behind corner number 4. So 4 was there, 2 is at the back over here, behind 4. So we'll go 4, 2, because that point over there represents both corner 4 and corner 2 behind it. And then the same thing here with corner 8, it represents corner 8 and corner 6, which will be behind it. Now you should be able to clearly see here that we've been looking from this direction in our top view to then go and get our front view over there. So our shape has been taken from our top view here and it's been flipped up like that to give us our front view. Now we're going to use our front view and our top view to go and draw a left view. Okay, And for this we are simply going to follow our numbers. We're going to first of all project our lines across all of our corners across from our front view we're going to project those across and then we're going to project each of our corners from our top view onto our 45 degree line and where each of those corners hits into this 45 degree line over here we are then going to project each of those points straight up into where our left view should be like that okay and now what we're going to do is we're going to go and follow our numbers so if we go and we follow this number one over here number one comes across hits into our 45 degree line and then it comes up and if you look at number one here the two come together over there 
So we know that that point over there is going to be number 1. Okay, then if we do the same thing with number 2, we take number 2 across and to that 45 degree line, then take number 2 across here and where the 2 come together, we know that that point will be number 2. The same thing of course is going to happen with number 3. Number 3 will come up here, now look here, number 3 and 3, they both meet at number 1. So which one should we write first? Which one are we going to see first? Well, let's have a look over here. We're looking and we're drawing a left view. So we have to look from the left hand side. Which corner would you see first from the left hand side? You're going to see number 1 first and number 3 will be behind it. So that will be labeled as 1, 3. And then if we use the same process for point 4, we bring point 4 across from here and up and then 4 across there. This of course will give us point 4. And then the same thing will happen down here where we'll land up with point 8 over here. And we'll land up with point 6 over there. And then at the bottom over here we'll see point 5 first and then point 3 because that's the direction we're looking at our left view from. We'll see 5 first then 3. So this will be labeled 5 comma 3. And then to complete this view, we simply have to go and join up each of our lines. And we'll be able to see clearly what that left view looks like. And there we go. We have a nice clear front view, top view and a left view and first angle orthographic projection of our prism.